Have you ever pondered the evolution of economies and wondered where we stand today? Imagine a time when manual labor was the primary driver of economic growth. This was the era of the industrialized economy where the production of goods was paramount. Factories sprung up like mushrooms, churning out everything from textiles to automobiles. This was a time when the wheel of progress was greased by the sweat and toil of the workforce. Fast forward a few decades, and we find ourselves in the throes of the service economy. The focus has shifted from the production of goods to the provision of services. Think of your favorite coffee shop, your bank, or even the hospital. These entities don't produce tangible goods, rather, they offer services that we, as consumers, find valuable. But the winds of change never cease to blow and now, we find ourselves in the age of the information economy. This is a world where data is king, and knowledge is power. In this economy the creation, distribution, and manipulation of information form the backbone of economic growth. Every click, every swipe, every search query contributes to this vast ocean of data, fueling industries as diverse as artificial intelligence, digital marketing, and cybersecurity. But what does all this mean for us? How have these different economic stages shaped our world? What implications do they have for our future? These are questions that demand answers. As we transition from one economic stage to another, we're not just changing the way we work or the way we do business. We're altering the very fabric of our societies, redefining concepts of value, and rewriting the rules of the game. This journey through economic evolution is far from over. Each stage brings new challenges, new opportunities, and new ways of thinking. So where do we stand today? And perhaps more importantly, where are we headed? Join us as we embark on a journey through time, examining these three economic stages in detail. Picture a world undergoing rapid transformation, fueled by the power of industry. This was the world of the industrialized economy, an era that dramatically reshaped the fabric of society. At its core, the industrialized economy was characterized by mass production and mechanization. Gone were the days of handcrafting items one by one. Instead, factories became the beating heart of the economy, churning out goods at a pace never seen before. This was an era where steam powered the machines, and machines powered the world. This shift from agriculture to industry was as much a social revolution as it was an economic one. Rural landscapes transformed into bustling urban centers, skyscrapers rose, railways stretched across continents and cities became the new frontier. And with this shift came a new social order. The rise of the working class marked a significant change in the societal structure. People migrated from the countryside to the city in search of work, trading fields for factories, plows for hammers. This was a time when the sound of the factory whistle became the rhythm of life. However, this was not without its challenges. The working conditions were often harsh, and the gap between the rich and the poor widened. Yet, it was also a time of immense progress. The industrialized economy brought about unprecedented productivity, paving the way for new opportunities and a better standard of living for many. Moreover, the industrialized economy had profound effects on the world stage. It fostered global trade, promoted international relations, and led to the emergence of powerful industrial nations. In essence, the industrialized economy was more than just factories and machines. It was a powerful force that shaped societies, defined cultures, and propelled humanity forward. It was a time of change, a time of progress, a time of challenges, and a time of opportunities. The industrialized economy marked a significant leap forward, setting the stage for further evolution. Imagine a shift, a transition from products to services as the primary economic driver. This metamorphosis ushered in the era of the service economy, a period characterized by the dominance of the service sector, the rise of consumerism, and the importance of human capital. The service economy, in essence, is a stage where the majority of the economic activity is centered around the provision of services rather than the production of goods. This could be anything from transportation and tourism to healthcare and financial services. It's an era where you're more likely to be served a latte, teach a class, or design a website than to work on an assembly line. Consumerism also saw a significant rise in the service economy. With the increased availability and diversity of services, consumption became more than just fulfilling basic needs. It transformed into a form of self-expression, a way to define and express our identities. We're not just buying a cup of coffee, we're buying an experience, a lifestyle. The service economy also brought the importance of human capital into sharp focus. In this context, human capital refers to the knowledge, skills, 
and abilities of workers. It's the barista's skill in crafting the perfect latte, the teacher's ability to inspire students, the web designer's knack for creating user-friendly interfaces. These skills and experiences are the driving force behind the service economy. This shift also had profound effects on employment patterns, as the demand for services grew, so did the need for service-oriented jobs. This led to a surge in employment opportunities in the service sector, sparking the growth of the middle class. It also led to a shift in the nature of work, with a greater emphasis on interpersonal skills, creativity, and problem-solving. The service economy brought with it a new wave of change, but the evolution didn't stop there. Now, consider a world where information is the most valuable asset. Picture an era where knowledge is power, and the ability to process, analyze, and apply this knowledge determines the winners and losers in the global economy. This is the information economy, a paradigm shift that has redefined how we live, work, and interact with the world around us. The information economy's defining feature is the centrality of information and knowledge. In this landscape, the most valuable companies are those that can leverage data to create innovative products, refine their strategies, and outpace their competitors. We've moved from a world where physical assets dictated success, to one where intangible assets like intellectual property data and digital platforms hold the reins. The dominance of technology is another hallmark of the information economy. Every industry, from healthcare to entertainment, has been transformed by digital technologies. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data analytics, these aren't just buzzwords, they're tools that are reshaping our world, creating efficiencies, and opening up new possibilities that were once the stuff of science fiction. The digital revolution, which underpins the information economy, has been nothing short of transformative. It's not just about the proliferation of smartphones or the ubiquity of social media, it's about the creation of entirely new industries. Think about the gig economy, the app economy, or the sharing economy. These didn't exist two decades ago, but today, they're integral parts of our lives. The shift to an information economy has profound implications. It's transformed the nature of work, making remote work and flexible hours a reality for many. It's changed how we interact with each other, how we learn, and how we entertain ourselves. And it's raised critical questions about privacy, security, and the digital divide. The information economy has ushered in a new era, but what does this mean for our future? As we navigate this brave new world, we must grapple with these questions and more. Because understanding the information economy isn't just about understanding where we are now, it's about envisioning where we're heading next. So, where do we go from here? What does the future hold for our economies? In the crystal ball of the future, we see a world where artificial intelligence is no longer a budding concept but a fully blossomed reality, transforming the way we work, play, and live. As AI becomes more prevalent, we may see an increase in productivity and efficiency, leading to new heights in economic growth. Yet we must also consider the challenges this presents, like the displacement of certain jobs and the ethical implications of AI decisions. Alongside the growth of AI we see the rise of the gig economy. As more people seek flexibility in their work, companies are adapting to meet these demands. We can anticipate a shift in the traditional job market, where full-time employment may no longer be the norm. This restructuring of the workforce may lead to new economic models and require us to rethink our understanding of job security and benefits. Now let's consider sustainability. As the effects of climate change become more pronounced, the push for sustainable practices grows stronger. We're likely to see an increase in green industries and renewable energy sources, potentially giving rise to a new sector within our economies. However, the transition to sustainability also presents challenges, like the need for significant investment and the displacement of traditional industries. These possible developments paint a picture of a future that is both exciting and daunting. But remember, these are only projections, not certainties. The actual course of the future will depend on a myriad of factors, including technological advancements, societal changes and policy decisions. So, let's think critically about these potential trends. Let's ask tough questions, challenge assumptions, and strive to understand the wider implications of these changes. Only then can we hope to navigate the uncharted waters of the future with wisdom and foresight. The future of economies is a fascinating topic full of possibilities and uncertainties. As we navigate this ever-evolving landscape, one thing is clear, the evolution of economies is far from over. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.